Hello, dear viewers, and welcome back to Let's Play Don't Starve. We have just established a campsite with our good friend Chester. Chester's a real swell friend. Helps us, uh, oh gosh, rain. We can get a little wet, but that's okay. Actually, I don't have Rain of Giants enabled, so we're not going to get wet. I probably should start doing that, because that's the, the don't start together default, is Reign of Giants, yes, Shipwrecked, no. Or at least some of the mechanics in Reign of Giants, uh, such as the wetness meter. You can become too damp, and it makes it difficult to do things. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is just kind of running around, collecting a few more resources here. Um, but really what we want to start doing is... Uh, Oh, well, here's a pretty good cluster of rabbit hutches. It's a little further from our camp than I'd like, though. Um, so let's just pick a bunch of grass and make our way back there. We want to catch a few rabbits for um, food and, and just to sort of get a drying rack going. It's one of the things that we can guaranteed make right off the bat um, as soon as we get a science machine. Um, oh, yes, and we were going to go through that worm today. I think we still have time. So, uh, movement in Don't Starve can be handled in one of two ways, uh, depending on how you're playing this. If, if you're playing on a console, then, of course, use the controller. And if you're using a controller with your Steam game, use your controller. Uh, but as far as mouse and keyboard go, I suppose... Um, you can either click on this to move them, or you can use the WASD keys to, and, and to walk around manually, as it were. Um, that's a much better way to harvest things. Um, you, can, you can, instead of having to click on each individual thing, you just sort of walk around, and then you hold down the space bar to harvest. More spiders, that's good. Silk is, is very important. It's, we have a couple sources of these now, which is great. Okay, where are we, by the way? Okay, not too far away, just a little jaunt. So, what is our goal now? Hmm. The game is paused while the map is open, so... Do not fret, dear viewers. I think what I want to do is try and get a hold of some gold for the science machine. And one guaranteed way to do that is to catch a rabbit and cook its meat and give it to the pig king as an offering. And that's doable. We just head back to our camp, uh, boost our sanity a little bit by picking some flowers, and then we um, will hop into this blue wormhole. Take us all the way back up there. That will get us our science machine. We also are going to want to harvest some more reeds at some point. We need uh, a, a couple, I think, I think two papyrus in order to build our bird cage, which is another nice goal to have. Crock pot. There, there are all kinds of things that we can be doing. But I, I really want to get the science machine first. I think that's the most important. So let's um, let's finish exploring this little loop here. Head back to camp and start. Okay, so we've got a walrus camp there. I actually haven't ever interacted with walrus. Um, so I couldn't say what use they are. I, I think they drop a backpack or something. I seem to recall watching a video or reading something about that. Not entirely sure. Um, okay, so we are back at our camp. We're going to want to pick some flowers here just to boost our sanity back up before nightfall. Um, we, we're wearing our garland as well, which helps, but we want to make sure that we are above 160, I think it is. You can kind of tell what shape you're in by how deteriorated the 
picture of your brain looks. Same thing with hunger and health. Ooh, another touchstone. Oh, well, dear viewers. We just have all kinds of pieces on life. Oh, my goodness. This is such a strong start. I, I cannot imagine uh, really a better setup here. <laughs> this is fantastic. If we had already found some gears, that would be the only way that this could have been better. I'm sorry for the brief pauses. I'm having to sip some tea. I made some wonderful tea with honey. And using it to let my to heal my voice a little bit. I, I'm not used to talking quite this much. Okay. So we're going to catch some rabbits, go back to the pig king. It's excellent. For that, we need to make some traps. Down three of them. And one right there. And no, that's not quite right. Right there. Okay. Then we can just. Ah, there's some more flint. But you, you always want to pick up whatever flint you see in the early game. You're going to go through a lot of tools just building all the things you need to build. For example, our, our pickaxe is almost out, and our axe is more than halfway done. Ah, suspicious dirt pile. Koala fence may be nearby. Ah. Well, we're... we don't have enough for this. But let's, um... what else can we do right now? Let's, let's just go back and, and chop down the trees around our campsite. Uh, we don't want to fall prey to a forest fire at any point. And we also want to make sure the tree gods are going to show up, that they do so now, while we still can, you know, do something about it. Uh, but the primary concern is lightning. Sorry, uh, to finish my thought process. Uh, because if a, uh, trees are much more likely to be struck by lightning, and if we're catching on fire, it's... And that fire can easily spread, and we really don't want to just get our things set up a little bit and then lose it all in a conflagration. Seeds can be eaten in a pinch. They're not the best. Okay, we're at 182 of 200. Let's see if we can't find another. Here we go. Another couple of flowers. It was just a good tree to cut down in general. One of the big ones. And we can use these pine cones. Ooh, these are perfect rabbit holes to set traps on. Um, but for now, let's get our fire started, just so that we're not caught entirely unawares. That'll be plenty to last through. Um, I want this grass, this flower. I'm being a little greedy here, but we've got a torch if we can't get back there. This is another reason why the road is nice, because it, it extends your range around your camp just a little bit further because it can accelerate you back when you're uh, when you're trying to make it back in a, in a hurry. Uh, and, and that's just very convenient. Um, let's eat these berries before they spoil. You can tell by the, the little green part of the food items, or, or other perishables, will be slowly depleting over time. For example, when this starts to spoil, we're going to want to make it into another garland. Alright, what can we put in Chester? Uh, these pine cones? We don't really want to make a forest quite yet. We don't care about that economy of scale, and, and we're going to want to sort of clear out this whole area anyway. Just to open it up and give us, give us more space to breathe in. Uh, let's chop this tree down because it's in our field of view. You want to try and keep busy at night when you can. 
It's not always possible. Sometimes you'll just sit around. And sometimes the best thing to do at night is just figure out what you want to do the next day. We already know what we're going to do, though. We're going to go retrieve our rabbits that we've captured. And, um, and then we are going to make an offering to the big king. I am, of course, assuming that we are going to capture rabbits since we put it directly on their rabbit holes. And we'll move these traps south. We, we, we don't have to leave them there. I, it was, I just wanted to put them down as quickly as possible. Ah, uh, really? Huh. No rabbits yet, eh? It might take a few minutes after dawn for them to come out. But that's okay, we can explore a little bit as well. Um, keep picking flowers, keep our sanity as, as high as possible, because we, we are going to want to be able to use wormholes whenever we want. Didn't mean to rotate the screen there. I, I try never to rotate the camera um, unless I am using it to pick up logs or something in a tight space. But even then, you should probably be using spacebar. Um, if we can find some uh, some gold as well, that would uh, that would solve our problem. Which is why I'm going to explore this rocky area here. Little secret, these things are actually count as roads, so they, they do help you move faster if you zigzag on them a little bit. Just one gold boulder. One gold boulder, boulder, boulder. Boulder, boulder, boulder. Not... Ah, here we go. Excellent. Wait a bit. We're gonna need another axe, but uh, pickaxe. But... Great! Now we can build a science machine and use it to make science. Yeah, solid. Okay. We can also dig graves at some point. Sometimes there is gold just lying around in graveyards. That's another good reason to check them out. So this has been a profitable trip. We didn't even have to rely on the rabbits. That means we get to eat them instead. Hum nom 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 nom. Seeing if we can find any more gold around here. But all of these rocks and things are useful as well. Uh, I don't think we need to be mining a bunch of these boulders quite yet. Um, though it might be useful to have the stone, and we'll be back here at some point anyway, and we'll, we'll, we will always have uses for stone, but it won't always be very urgent. It, uh, m most things that require stone are, are fairly, um, they're fairly permanent structures that aren't necessary for survival. But really, technically speaking, you don't have to build anything in this game. You can try and just survive. It's just really difficult once the hounds start to breed. Or, you know, if you're visited by any of the number of much nastier things than just mere bloodthirsty hounds. Okay, so we've got six gold. I, I think we, we need a few more for the sort of next tier of things, but um, it's okay. We, okay, seven. Not bad. And we've gotten a decent amount of uh, flint and rocks. And a, a, a non- zero benefit is present in exploring the map. I mean, just knowing what's around is, is very useful. You can always find things like this suspicious dirt pile, uh, which were we so inclined, we could follow to lead us to the koala hunt. But we don't have to do anything with the koala hunt quite yet. It's a rather intimidating foe. And I want to build a science machine. Um, 
I, I think it's worth giving up the extra daylight to um, get started inventing things and also just figuring out recipes. I don't have all of the recipes in this game memorized by any means. Um, at least not the specific amounts. Like, I know the birdcage needs papyrus and, I think, gold and, um, of course, a bird. Well, uh, not, not building the birdcage. You put the bird in the birdcage. But we'll need silk for the net. It's it's sort of a, a, a tricky puzzle as far as what you want to build when. Let's build our science machine here. Sort of off to the side a little bit. Let's also move this eye bone down here. I'm, I'm going to want to build ice boxes right here. Okay, so first things first, let's build a prototype shovel. We don't need any of these other things yet. Um, and let's build a backpack. It's going to help us a lot early on. We don't have to worry about pigs for a, or the uh, hounds for a minute, but we're still still going to want to be careful. Uh, I'm going to make some boards and cut stone and that sort of thing. Um, alchemy engine, oh, well, we can actually go ahead and make. That's maybe worthwhile, although I'm tempted just to make a, um, a lightning rod instead. That would take three... I really don't like gambling, but on the other hand, having access to an alchemy engine right now is very, very strong. So I, I think I'm, I think I'm going to be a little greedy and go ahead and do that. Oh, let's put one of these boards there and see if we can't chop this tree down real quick before we. Make camp. Uh, it's gonna be kind of close. Ah, oh, now we're fine. Okay, great. And that just lets us dig up a few more of these things, and again, like extend the radius of safety around our camp. Safety. If if we eventually want to build walls or something, then that's that's legitimate. But we we don't need that to be right now. And we don't want these things to be in the way. Like this, this grass isn't going to be useful right there. Sapling, we don't necessarily want to be there. And and I'm doing this because we, we have Chester and we can kind of afford to. So let's finish um, getting things for our alchemy engine here. We need one more board and one more cut stone. Uh, no. One more board beyond that. Okay. Here we go. I'm, my screen resolution is terrible right now, unfortunately. I do not currently have a, a good computer monitor, but I'm working on it. Um, we can just build this. Sure. Uh, we don't want to walk things off. Let's just build it there. Okay. What can we invent now that we couldn't invent before? A thermal stone. Um, we don't need to do that yet. Right now I want to put these in Chester real quick. We're not quite at the base building stage yet. We're still in the acquiring resources stage. Which is going to include hoping that these rabbit traps have borne fruit. Or Rabbits. This is fruit. Excellent. Good. Got some rabbits behind me. Uh, let's make sure we don't have a pick, uh, shovel equipped. Shovels are kind of risky. Oh, that's right. We have um, we have a, a mod. Uh, that's one of the only other mods I use. Um, I don't use very many. Is uh, a mod that automatically resets the traps when you pick them up, which I think is very, very nice. I think it's just so important to not have to bumble about with it. Like, I think it's an unimportant part of the game that you can eliminate a lot of frustration with. Playing games should be fun. Mod your games. Okay, I was coming down here because I wanted to, first of all, cook, um, cook the rabbit here. Uh,
and also these berries, because we are pretty hungry, and I don't want to get too far abroad just yet. Um, that is that is one thing. <laughs> you have to make sure you actually don't starve. Um, it is very possible. Okay, excellent. So we want to set traps here, um, since these are the closest to, to our camp, and then see what others are nearby. Okay, good. Another two over here. So let's get a couple more grass and then build another one, and, and, and just make sure that our our trap count is, is maxed out if we can. Um, eventually, you 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 have to be concerned about things like Krampus, but that's not for quite some time. Ah, yes. See, we have a ton of rabbits. Um, I, I think this is a, a really great setup. We, we'll be able to keep ourselves fed. We'll be able to get gold from the pig king. We also have infinite rabbit duration, um, or a much longer rabbit duration than, than many. Uh, another thing we can do is we can always risk picking this grass, but then the, the pigmen get mad. We can always kill the pigmen, but I prefer not to do that. I would, I, I really want to save them as a defense mechanism. I think that's very, very important. So you'll note we are growing our magnificent beard. Um, we definitely want to do that. Uh, oh, yes, let's go see if we can get some more weeds if they've regrown. Hopefully they have. You know, stay. Okay. I'll go away then. Ah, if you want to start picking up manure, now that we have an alchemy engine, we can build improved farms, which are very, very good. Ah, we can also start getting some spider silk. If we build a couple more traps here. Um, what was I? What was I going to do? So let's let's go ahead and check the papyrus, or the, the reeds rather. Uh, especially since I don't quite remember what their respawn rate is. If it's every four days, like it would be if we see them here, or something like that. Three days maybe. Yes, they've regrown. Excellent. And I, I can't, I shouldn't forget that I have a, a normal pigman down here, right? a non-hostile one. We've got a spider's nest there, and another one over here. Ah, such a good start to this game. I, I am very pleased that I get to share a really good run with you guys. Also, uh, please feel free to post in the comments any technical issues you're spotting. If you're, if volume is a problem, I, I... My setup is, is very suboptimal currently, uh, and I apologize for that, but if there's anything within my limited capacity to make it better that I can do, I happily will. Okay, let's just sort of pop back up here, harvest a bunch of grass, since we have a lot of uses for traps right now, and little little reason not to pick up everything we, we find. Um, we don't need this Bicolo wool quite yet, although I will grab... This is an excellent little vault, as it were, um, to use Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup terminology. Uh, one, of, one of my favorite games of all time. I highly recommend, highly recommend Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup if you enjoy roguelikes. Um, anyway, a vault is a, is a sort of programmed space. It's a, oh dear, yikes. Well, that's another thing that can happen with that. Oh my goodness. Um, I didn't know that, uh, that would be trapped. Wow. That was terrifying. Well, um, not all bad. We can pick up a bunch of these ashes, which we can use for healing salves. Golly. Crazy. And we can still grab this fire staff, which was the, the most important thing that I was hoping to get out of there. Wow, well, we lost the beef a little wool, which is too bad, but um, ashes really are useful. This, this will keep us from having to acquire nearly as many later on. This pig head also survived, which means we can knock it down for some pig skin at some point. We can build our own village. Uh, there's, there's a little bit of beef a wool. We're not too concerned about beef a wool. We, we have beef and from them we can acquire wool. Okay, we need to head home because need to um, 
Ah, yes. Here we go. Let's set a couple of spider traps. Just sort of set them here. And... I like to have two down, I don't like to have three down. Um, and they, they may not trigger right now, but we don't really care. Ooh, monster man, that's, that's excellent. Um, this is great too, we can lure the spiders into the pigmen and they'll attack them for free for us. Uh, this monster meat, um, we can give to a, another pigman, pig person. Um, let's see, can we build another trap? No, not quite enough grass. Ah, but we do have a few rabbits to collect here. Um, and these we do want to auto-reset. Oh, and, um... I didn't mean to eat that, but... It's okay. Um... And we make it. Excellent. Oh gosh, this has actually gone on for three days rather than two. I just got so caught up in our magnificent beginning here that I totally lost track of time. Um, but we're doing very well. We have an excellent start here. Let's uh, get these papyrus going here. I forget how many. We might not have enough still. Yeah, it does take four. And we want it's in structures, I believe. Structures. Birdcage, yeah. We need six gold, two papyrus. So we're not there yet. We need one more trip down to the swamp before we can do anything uh, about a bird cage, but that's okay. We, we, we are well on our way here to um, a very a very good chance of surviving the winter. We're just going to eat these morsels for now. Um, eat these berries. Uh, we could take a trip to the Pig King, but I don't, I don't think that's necessary right now. Um, we can... Gosh, actually, we do probably want another gold, but I think, dear viewers, that that's an issue for another day, because I've gone on for uh, 27 minutes instead of roughly 16, and this will take a lot longer to upload as a result, but I am nonetheless excited because this was a very fun few days, and I love it when I lose track of time playing games. It, it's a sign of a good game. So... That said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.